Hello, and welcome to the ArcServe Unified Data Protection video series. In this video, I'll show you part three of three on how to configure the ArcServe UDP agent settings for the copy recovery points and preference settings. Let's start with the copy recovery point settings. Start by clicking the settings link on the ArcServe UDP agent homepage to display the settings dialog. The protection settings screen opens by default. These backup settings are covered in part one of this video series. So let's click copy recovery points. In this dialog, you can schedule copying of recovery points by selecting the enable copy recovery points checkbox, which then enables the remaining fields in this dialog. Specify the destination to where you would like to copy the recovery point to. Then specify the number of backups to perform before running the copy recovery points job. The default number is 8. The minimum number is 1 and the maximum number would be 1,344. Then specify the number of recovery points to keep. The default number is 1. Again, the minimum number is 1 and the maximum number is 1,344. Select the compression level to help decrease your disk space usage, which will also have an inverse impact on your backup speed to the increased CPU usage. You have four options no compression, which has the lowest CPU usage or the fastest speed, and the highest disk space usage for the backup image. Compression is not performed and the files are pure VHD. No compression VHD, which is the same as no compression, except that the files are converted to .VHD format directly without manual operations. Standard compression, which performs some compression, provides good balance between CPU usage and disk space usage. This is the default setting. Or maximum compression, which performs the maximum compression, provides the highest CPU usage and the lowest speed and the lowest disk space usage for your backup image. Then finally, you can set an encryption algorithm for your copied recovery points. If you select any of the AES algorithms, you're required to enter and confirm the encryption password. Click Save Settings and your recovery point settings are now saved and successfully configured. Now let's move on to Preferences. With the Preferences screen, it provides a quick and easy way to specify various options for the behavior of your ArcServe UDP agent for Windows. Click General. In this dialog, you have the option to select from the Tray Monitor notifications, what kind of notifications to be displayed on your home page. Next, click Email Alerts. In this dialog, you can specify automatic email alert notifications for selected events. Check Enable Email Alerts to enable the fields on this dialog. You can then select one or more job alerts, disk space alerts, and update alerts to be emailed to you when these jobs complete. Click the Email Settings button to specify the email settings like the mail server, subject title, who the email is coming from, and email recipients. You can also enable and define your proxy settings. After you have established your email settings, you can test the settings using the Test Email button to see if you receive the email alert. Click OK and the email settings are now saved. Now back to the email alert settings, scroll down to Resource Alerts. You can enable resource alerts to send email alerts when any of the specified resource threshold level is reached. Click Save Settings and your email alerts preference settings are saved. Finally, click Updates. In this dialog, you can specify the type of server where you would like to have your updates downloaded from. Here you have the options of downloading it from the CA server, which is the default server, or a staging server. If you want the updates to be downloaded from the proxy server, click the Proxy Settings button. This setting is only available when you select CA Server. Let's click the Proxy Settings button. In the Proxy Settings dialog, you can either use the Browser Proxy Settings, which is only for IE and Chrome, or configure your own proxy settings. Click OK to save your proxy settings. Back in the Updates dialog, if you select Staging Server as the server to download the updates from, then click Add Server to add the staging server Specify the name of the staging server and the corresponding port number. Then click OK. In this demo, I'll choose CA server, so I'll just cancel out of here. 
you can click Test Connection to test the server connections you selected. You can also schedule a day and time for ArcServe UDP to automatically check for updates. If there are new updates available, you'll get an email notification. Click Save Settings and your updates preference settings are configured and saved. That's it. Thanks for watching. This concludes our video for part 3 of 3 of the UDP Agent Settings. For more information on the features and benefits of this application, please read the documentation or visit the ArcServe Unified Data Protection Knowledge Center.